Welcome to Math We Know. Comparing which is larger, three to the power of ten plus four to the power of ten, or five to the power of ten. Hmm, a wonderful question. Everything begins with inspection. Observe. Three to the power of ten, four to the power of ten, five to the power of ten. Maybe you found out that the exponents are quite large. However, this information doesn't help us. Maybe you also found out that three, four, five—they're nice numbers, since four is three plus one, five is four plus one. However, this information also doesn't help us. So what should we do? I have a question. Are there any other relationships among three, four, and five? Of course, there are. Three, four, five. The Pythagorean theorem. Three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared. Hmm, this is a very, very good relationship among these three numbers. However, we have a new problem. The exponents are ten, not two, so a little bit large. We must find a solution. And we will find a solution. So now I'm going to say, let's start with three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared. So now, according to this equation, what can we get? By comparing, we can see that these exponents are not large; they are only two. However, Here are ten. Hmm, frustrated. However, this equation, the left hand side, is complicated, and the right hand side, I think, as well. So what should we do? Of course, for making this equation easier, simpler. We can divide the both hand sides by five squared, and the right hand side will be one. And the right hand side will be one, and the left hand side we can simplify it further. So three squared divided by five squared is three over five all squared, and then plus here as well four over five all squared. The right hand side is only one. We know that the sum of three over five all squared and four over five all squared is one. So now we're going to compare these two numbers: three to the power of ten plus four to the power of ten and five to the power of ten. I'm going to write it here. So we're going to compare three to the power of ten plus Four to the power of ten, with five to the power of ten. So then, of course, we can use the same method. We can divide the both hand sides by five to the power of ten, since it is non-negative and it is non-zero. It is positive. We can divide the both hand sides by five to the power of ten. So now, three to the power of ten divided by five to the power of ten, it is. Three over five, all to the power of ten, and then plus here is four over five, all to the power of ten, and the right hand side is one. Since we have knew that, according to this equation, according to this term, three over five all squared, then plus four over five all squared is equal to one, and now. And now we have to compare this guy with one. So now substitution. So now our work is our work is to compare. 
3 over 5 to the power of 10 plus 4 over 5 to the power of 10 with 3 over 5 all squared, then plus 4 over 5 all squared. Now, look. This phase, 3 over 5. This phase, 3 over 5. This phase, 4 over 5. This phase, 4 over 5. Now, we can compare 3 over 5 to the power of 10 with 3 over 5 squared first, and then compare these two guys. 4 over 5 to the power of 10 with 4 over 5 all squared. That is a good idea. Why? Since these two guys have the same base, and these two guys as well. Three over five, all to the power of ten, and three over five, all squared, which is larger or which is smaller. Of course, I have a trick. Please, please, please notice the bases. 3 over 5. Mm. Of course, we know that the base, 3 over 5, it is between 0 and 1. So what does it mean? It means that 3 over 5 all to the power of 10 is smaller than 3 over 5 all squared. If you don't believe me, and if you don't believe this truth, I'm going to show you the graph. It's a little bit smaller, and here is the graph. Three over five, all to power x. If x is equal to two, it is here. It is of course equal to 3 over 5 all squared when x is equal to 2. And when x is equal to 10, it is 3 over 5 all to the power of 10. And you can see that when x is equal to 10, the value of y is absolutely smaller than when x is equal to 2. So now the left hand side is absolutely smaller than the right hand side. Of course, the same thing happens to 4 over 5. 4 over 5 to the power of 10 and 4 over 5 squared. Since 4 over 5 is also between 0 and 1. So 4 over 5 all to the power of 10 is also smaller than 4 over 5 all squared. The first one and the second one. Now we can add these two inequalities together. Add them up and you can get that. The left hand side is the sum of 3 over 5 all to the power of 10 and 4 over 5 all to the power of 10. And the right hand side is 3 over 5 all squared plus 4 over 5 all squared. Since here are both smaller. So now we can get the sum of them is smaller than the sum of 3 over 5 all squared and 4 over 5 all squared. So now what does it mean? You can see that the left hand side is here, the left hand side, and the right hand side is here, the right hand side. So we have succeeded. We have solved this question successfully. So here is of course smaller. Here is also smaller. Here is also smaller. It means that, look here, 3 to the power of 10 plus 4 to the power of 10 is smaller than 5 to the power of 10. So the answer is 3 to the power of 10 is smaller. Oh, what a surprising answer. Have you got it? And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.